Welcome to lesson number 13, working with custom actions. Windows Installer comes with a lot of standard actions. However, these do not cover all instances. When you need more control, for example, when launching an executable during installation on the machine or calling a special function from a DLL and so forth and so on, you can resolve to dll.gs.vbs .exe and .msi files as sources of various custom actions. Custom actions are a large topic in MSI in general, but in this video we will discuss the fundamentals of them and demonstrate how to add one. Custom actions can be executed in three types of sequences. Install execute sequence via the graphical interface or not. Admin execute sequence when performing an administrative installation and advertised execute sequence when installing or uninstalling advertised components. Also, Windows Installer offers multiple running modes for your custom actions, like immediate execution, when the system is being modified, deferred in the system context, deferred execution and user context, rollback and commit. Let's take each one. Immediate execution where the action is executed within the account of the user who initiated the action. This can be placed anywhere in the sequence list and has the advantage of using the user's account and allowing direct access to its specific settings. But the disadvantage is that the user account frequently has limited rights which can prevent some actions from being performed. Deferred execution and user context where the action is executed with the account of the user who started the action can be inserted between install initialize and install finalize and has the advantage of being more appropriately sequenced than immediate execution. The rollback action is taken when an installation fails before it's completed. The rollback is performed with the account of the user who initiated the installation and it can be inserted between install finalize and install execute sequence, but it cannot be performed asynchronously. The commit action is performed when the installation is complete. It is executed with the account of the user who initiated the action and can be used to clean up temporary files that are left behind after a successful installation. I know it's a lot to take in, but we have additional information in the MSI Packaging eBook as well as in our user guide. I encourage you to check all of the material before trying to develop custom action because it's a complex topic. Now let's have a look on how to make a custom action with Advanced Installer. In this example, we will run an executable after installing the MSI package. Navigate to the custom actions page. Search for launch exe with working directory and then select add custom action with sequence button. Keep in mind that we want this action to be part of our sequence. We can now move this custom action after finish execution and configure it as shown now. We'll set the execution time to immediate because we're doing this after the install finalize step. Another reason we choose immediate is that we want to run this executable as the user account that initiated the installation. We uncheck fail installation as an execution option because the application is theoretically installed at this point and all we need to do is launch the executable. In the execution stage condition, we will only choose install and put not installed in the condition field so that this operation is only conducted during the install. That's all there is to it. If we now install the MSI, we should see the executable launch after the installation. In the following video, we'll take a look at the system search option.